so my name is Juha Paukkunen and I work here in Helsinki at the Finnish Museum of Natural History, which is part of the University of Helsinki. And my duty here at the museum is to take care of the Hymenoptera collections. So I've been studying bees and wasps for about 20 years. And uh, in this presentation, I will uh, have a quite broad approach to this topic, the pollinators and their trends in Finland. So I try to cover also other pollinator groups than only bees in this presentation. And first I'll tell something about something general information about the <coughs> different pollinator, pollinator groups and their population trends in Finland. And then a few words about the, the <coughs> red list assessment. The last assessment was published last year. And then finally some information on recent projects on pollinators in Finland and some measures for helping helping pollinators. So the most most of the pollinating insects belong to the four large orders of insects which are shown in this slide. So the flies and the Hymenoptera, the dip, Diptera and Hymenoptera are the probably the most important pollinator groups, and but they are also quite poorly known. So there are more than seven thousand species of in both orders in Finland, but the true true number of species might be even uh, near to ten thousand. And then the other two groups, which include many pollinators, are the Lepidoptera, the butterflies and moths, and the beetles. So these groups are much well better known in Finland, and there are about 2,600 species of of Lepidopterans and about 3,800 species of beetles. So the, the most e efficient pollinators of, are of course the bees which collect pollen, but uh, some other groups of insects are very common. For example, the flies can be common in Northern Finland and in Arctic areas, and also in, in mires and bogs, where the bees are usually quite scarce. So now I will show some uh, results from different studies where uh, these population trends have been studied. And uh, first, here is some information on butterflies. So in Finland, we have had this butterfly monitoring scheme going on from the 19, late 1990s. And uh, it is coordinated by the Finnish Environment Institute. And there is now some evidence that uh, the populations of most butterflies have slightly decreased during the monitoring period. But there are several species also which have increased and dispersed from the south. And as you can see from this picture, the fluctuation is quite large during different years. 
then we have also a monitoring scheme on moths which has started already in 1993 and it's based on light traps light trap material and also in this project there has been uh, uh, we have found out that there is a small slight decline in the total abundance of moths but there is a large fluc large fluctuations also, also and these fluctuations are mainly caused by only one species which is here in this picture this autumn uh, moth epirita autumnata which actually is not a pollinator at all but it is very common in northern Finland and in certain years it has these massive outbreaks and it influences the results of this total abundance quite much. Then we, we don't have much uh, information so far about bumblebees and their population trends but if we look at this distribution maps and how the distributions have changed during the recent decades we can see that there are some species which have uh, which have their distribution areas decreasing and some of some of these are the northern species which seem to have retreated to northern Finland for example this bombus lapponicus which used to be uh, found in as south as Oulu it, nowadays it's only found in the northern Lapland but then there are also some species which have colonized Finland quite recently for example Bombus ter terrestris and Bombus shrenki and they have been now increasing rapidly during the past years so Bombus terrestris was found first in 1993 in Helsinki and nowadays it's already spread to central Finland but the the real distribution is quite poorly known because it is easy to confuse with other similar looking bumblebees such as uh, Bombus lucorum and then Bombus shrenki was found as late as 2000 in Finland and then after this it has been spreading very quickly and now last year it was found already in the west coast or this year and then uh, I have this slide about honeybees so the number of honeybees has probably been decreasing from the 1980s until the until 2010 but after that it has probably increased because the number of beehives and number of members of the Finnish beekeepers association have grown since then you have three minutes left okay thanks and then we have also a, a study which was published in 2017 which shows that the yields of turnip rape rapeseed have decreased from the early 1990s so this was thought to be a consequence of the neonicotinoid pesticides and their introduction in Finland during that, that time 
and here is a table which shows the results from three latest national red list assessments for these main pollinator groups. So in these, the proportion of threatened species have has been quite stable around a bit less than 20%. In flies, it has been much lower, only about 5%. And in butterflies, it has been slightly increasing. So now in the latest assessment, there were already 18% of butterfly and moth species uh, classified as threatened. And in beetles, the proportion is lower, less than 10%. And uh, the, the average for all organisms is now 12%. 12, 12%. Here are a few examples of threatened bee species in Finland. So uh, they are quite often a rare species, which used to be already rare in uh, earlier times. But then there are some species which have declined, like this Andrena marginata and Hoplitis robusta. And then now there are also a few northern species which are uh, threatened by climate change. And this slide is about the management of uh, semi-natural grasslands. So there are some, uh, of course, these semi-natural grasslands are very important habitats for bees and other pollinators. And there are now about 30,000 hectares of managed grasslands in Finland. And uh, the, num the amount of managed areas will will increase in the near future because the Ministry of Environment has uh, given new funding to to this management and there will be about 15,000 15, hectares restored in the near future. And uh, as Erin already mentioned, uh, we have already started to prepare this national pollinator strategy in Finland also, and uh, it will be finished uh, next year in September. And there are 19 members from different agencies working on this project. And then this year we had this uh, uh, campaign uh, which was uh, had the name Save the Pollinators or Pelasta in, fin in Finnish and it was uh, started by the, the <coughs> Finnish public broadcast broadcasting company Yle and it was a very great success. There were many TV and radio programs during this year and more than uh, about 76,000 actions from people around Finland to how to help pollinators were, were registered during this campaign. And then there are also a couple other projects going on. Janne Heriola will tell more about this uh, project later in this webinar, so I will skip that. But uh, then there is starting now a new project next year, which deals with the farms in Finland and how to uh, convert farms to be more pollinator friendly. And this project will be led by Tracy Birch from the University of Helsinki, and and it was it got funding from the High and Tour Nesting Foundation. So I guess this is all, this is a summary slide, but uh, maybe we can skip this. 
So thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Yehul. We are just going to move on to the next panelist.